a few weeks ago, I aired a video called Podgy Man Gone about how Hugo the Podgy Man had engineered the disappearance of Vinny, a not-too-swift dude from the neighborhood. Basically, Hugo tricked him into inflating himself with air and he floated away, never to be seen again. But recently, I received the following email from Matt, who claims to be a witness to what happened, and who tells a rather different story. I was hanging around the gas station, waiting for Steve to close up at 9, so we could go bar hopping. Around 8, Vinny rolls up on that crappy old bike of his and asks if he can put some air in the tires. So Steve says, sure. A little after that, Podgy shows up. Uh, we smelled him first, and I told him to stay downwind, and I kept my distance. So I wasn't really looking at them until Steve yells at Hugo to take the friggin' air hose out of his mouth. But there was none of this uh, flying around stuff. I mean, I would have seen it, eh? But, uh, hmm, I did see the next part. Podgy passed the air hose to Vinny, and the idiot puts it in his mouth. And he, and he starts to expand. I mean, he begins blowing up, getting bigger and, and fatter. First his stomach, which starts to blow it out, but then his legs and arms began to blow up too getting thicker and thicker. And and then his head began to inflate, like a basketball. His glasses flew off and shattered on the ground, and I thought, oh, shit. And that is when his clothes began to rip off, literally fall off that huge, gross body. And he continued to expand until he was just this huge basketball of Dirty white flesh. Steve yelled, Get under cover, quick! And that's when Vinny fucking exploded. It wasn't what you'd call a real explosion. It was more of a giant fart than a big bang. We had dived into the building, just as a shower of blood and, uh, and uh, other stuff splattered all over the walls and windows. A tsunami of uh, of sludge, and man, man, the smell. We might have just lay stunned, but the stench was so bad, we would have puked if we didn't get out, didn't get out into the fresh air. Not that the air outside was very fresh anymore. The first thing I saw outside was a foot in a scuffed black shoe it was Vinny's foot I, I recognized the black and yellow check socks scattered around the lot were various other limbs and globs of flesh and fat a crowd of people had formed some screaming others throwing up it was a real shit show jeez that was a bad choice of words, eh? We called the cops, of course, and the owner of the gas station. Man, was he pissed. I thought for sure he was going to fire Steve's ass. The cops brought an ambulance. Don't ask me why. They ended up scraping up what was left of Vinny with a shovel. I told the cops what had happened. And they didn't want to believe me. But they didn't have much choice. I told them Hugo was behind the whole thing and that they should talk to him. So they asked him what happened to Vinny. And you know what he said? He go boom. He go boom? If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. My name is Warren, 
and I write and tell original ghost stories and original horror stories featuring such cryptids as the night floaters, werewolves, the black-eyed children, and, of course, the podgy man. So again, please consider subscribing. Please help me to reach my goal of 2,021 subs in 2021. Till midnight. Cheers! Images used in today's video, courtesy of PixHere, PXHere, while the music was Living in the Dark by the wonderfully talented Mayu.